the mysteries of PKA and PKB shall now be revealed. Well, I'm going to try and explain this using a sample question. Rank these one molar acids, weakest first. If we check the pH, uh, maybe we can do that. So starting with HA, there's the dissociation, and there is the acid dissociation equation with a constant there. Now since they're one molar acids, I can put one at the bottom, and H plus and A minus, they're the same. We'll look at the equation, one to one to one. PKA is negative log of Ka, but I need Ka, and that's 10 to the minus PKA. So what's Ka? Okay, it's 10 to the minus 4. 10 to the minus PKA. So I can put that in there. All right then, so we know that H plus and A minus are the same, so that's H plus squared. So solving for H plus, we get 10 to the minus 2. And so the pH is 2. We'll look at that in a little more detail later. The next acid is HB. But let's first look at Ka. Uh, for completeness, let me fill in what pKa is. Well, it's that 6 there. PKA is negative log Ka, so that 6 just moves over. There's the dissociation for HB, one mole at the bottom, it's in the question. H plus and B minus are the same. And I know that Ka is 10 to the minus 6. So by solving for H plus, I should get 10 to the minus 3. If those are the same, that's really h plus squared. And so yeah, h plus is 10 to the minus 3. And that's pH 3. Because pH is the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. HC is easy, but HD, well, I'm going to take that 10 to the minus 5. That's it, 5, there we go. Faster than I can say it. So that gives me pH 5. Okay, so now I have all the rankings. 2, 3, 4, and 5 for the pH. So I can order them weakest first. HD, HC, HB, and finally HA. Let's look at another one, but with bases now. The IB likes this sort of question now for multiple choice. So KB is 10 to the minus PKB. So I'm just going to fill in those numbers in my table to work out which is the weakest base. Now, you can't leave those numbers if you have to officially give the answer. You should put equals. The IB won't accept those exponents with decimals. Now, have you noticed that the highest PKB is the lowest KB? And the lowest PKB is the highest KB. So there's some sort of inverse relationship going on there. And this works for pH and anything with a P in front of it, really. So one goes up, the other goes down. So let's try and work out what is the weakest first. Let me write out uh, methylamine in water, showing uh, the equation of it producing hydroxide. I'm just going to rearrange this to try and get KB, the base dissociation constant, products over reactants. Don't need the water, that's in KB already, and it should be multiply at the top. Okay, so if I have a low KB, then there's not going to be much dissociation, and that's going to be my weakest one. And if I have a higher KB, there's going to be more dissociation, and that's going to be my strongest one. Easy.